this, tighten that. What's the word from the wasteland? Finding everyone that has gone missing is my top priority, but we need more evidence before we can act. Evidence? But what more do you need, huh? Are you saying my Jesse is a liar? No, that's not what I'm saying at all. Initiate. Excellent timing. There's something we should discuss. Mr. Knapp here has come to us with another missing persons case. My niece, Cassie. Cassie Holloway. She paid some caravan and folk to help her travel here from out west. Sent me some letters just before she set out. Them letters arrived just fine, but she didn't. I went and spoke with them caravanners, and they tell me that my Cassie never set out with them at all. Those, uh, Blue Mountain Watsons, uh... The Blue Ridge Caravan Company. Really? This letter said they would acquire more people from Blue Ridge? Interesting. This is the first real lead we found, and it connects directly with what Mr. Knapp is reporting. <laughs> I actually had my own suspicions about the organization, but this information certainly tips the scales. I imagine any shady operations they may have in play wouldn't be something so easy to stumble across. Though, it's good to know you've had some dealings with them. Well, maybe that'll provide a foot in the door. I've made several attempts to contact the Blue Ridge Caravan Company in hopes of trading supplies. They turn me down. Every time. I understand that the Brotherhood can be an intimidating presence. And the West Virginia chapter didn't exactly leave behind a shining legacy. But I think we've shown we have Appalachia safety and security at heart. Yet, they remain unwilling to even speak. Hmm. I find it suspicious. During our travels, we found that a caravan group was just as often a cover for slavers and raiders. The friendly guys for rolling through towns. I didn't suspect Blue Ridge of such at first, but their repeated refusal to talk, Mr. Knapp's story, and this letter are simply too much to ignore. We need to investigate this Blue Ridge Caravan Company immediately. Well, they have an office at the west end of the Big Bend Tunnel. Initiate! I'd like you to meet me there, but try not to attract too much attention either. If they realize we're in the Brotherhood, they may clam up. Fine. Don't see it as orders. See it as helping the people of Appalachia. I assume, regardless of where you and I stand, we remain united in the duty of helping others. There are lives at risk here. It can't be ignored. That's right. Fort Atlas is secure for the time being, and with Shin out of commission, I'd like to step in and do my part. This is our strongest lead by far. The two of us need to act quickly if we hope to safely return those that went missing. Thank you, Initiate. Ad Victorium.
power armor. Jeez, you sure know how to make an entrance, eh, buddy? I believe I asked you to keep a low profile initiate. Mm, mean friend? I may be wearing civvies, but that's not an all clear to be rude, you know. But listen, I was hoping we could talk for a few minutes before we head upstairs. Let me buy you a drink. What do you say? Oh, cut the crap. I'm being real here. Right, there are some things we need to hash out. Come on, pull up a stool. Great. Take a seat. Customer, what can I get for you? Uh, I've got a container of nuclear waste in the back, but you don't look like much of a ghoul to me. So, uh, how about a whiskey for now? Okay, here you go. Enjoy. I'm going to need you to be standing by the end of this, you know. Salomati, my friend. Aw, oh, I'd rather not ruin this. I just need a brief moment where I'm not a paladin to a headstrong, self-righteous, mutinous knight. Well, that's interesting phrasing. Join. Never really thought about it that way. I was already in the National Guard, helping people, maintaining peace. That was my life. The Brotherhood didn't feel like a new organization. It felt like regrouping with my people. A return to form. Maybe some ranks and verbiage changed, but the heart of it was there. I'm not sure I even gave it a second thought. No, I don't think it's quite as simple as a bait and switch. When the Founders started out, I genuinely believed they were fueled by a desire to protect people from the horrors of the old world. But time changed them. I paid too much attention to what they did and how, but lost sight of them. The people. Sometimes I think... No. I'm certain that I was selected for this mission in order to remove my perspective and influence. The Elders saw my pull and experience as a threat and knew I would never align with their goals. What better way to prevent my meddling than to send me packing on a cross-country venture? I often wonder if they ever expected me to report in at all. To make it here alive. Joke's on them, I guess. Alan Connors. That's right. Dear, dear friend. The two of us were from the same unit in the National Guard. Alan had been my rock. Every storm I weathered. We survived the bombs together. Joined the Brotherhood together. He was more than my right hand. He was really... a lifelong companion. I'd never really considered a world without him. Not just to me, either. To both Valdez and Shin. He was like a big brother. Even a father. He was always there for them. That's the part that gets to me. He was an important person to damn near everyone. It's what makes his absence hurt even more. Indeed. He was the bedrock of this team. And things were never the same with Shin from then on. But when we lost Alan, Shin stepped up to take on many of his responsibilities. It was on top of the grief. That must have been a lot to handle. It led him to fall back on what he knows. Rules and doctrine. He doesn't trust anyone else to help him see beyond that. Not like he trusted Alan. And because of me, because of a call I made, we all lost him. I know Shin will never forgive me for it. 
I'll let that one slide, since we're off duty, so to speak. But don't for a minute think that you're in a position to lecture me on the responsibilities of my station. If anything, I fought against my better instincts and went with a plan that I myself doubted. But that kind of reflection is fruitless. I made the final call. The burden lies on my shoulders. I hope, at least, you can start to see things from my perspective more. To understand why I make the choices I make. I think that's a fine idea. To whom? Haha. <laughs> ah, you really know how to twist the knife. But yes, to Daniel Shin. May he see a speedy recovery. Besalamati. Now, on to business. Let's head upstairs. And remember to keep a low profile. We're just a pair of friendly traders looking for potential business. Look out, here comes trouble. I'm afraid my calendar is all out of room for idle chatter, dear. Ms. Mayfield, my name is Layla. I made an appointment to speak with you. Please, Joanna is just fine, dear. And while all this cloak and dagger hubbub is flattering, why don't we cut to the chase, Paladin Romani? Well, that was short-lived. Okay, Joanna, it appears I underestimated you. And looky there, you've got one of these famous vault dwellers in tow. Oh, and I know this one. Made a splash around here. Say. When are you planning to provide some of that skill to my caravans? I'd appreciate if the job offers were saved for later. We're here on pressing business. Okay, Paladin. Down to brass tacks, then. It's not an accident that I finally opted to meet with you, after playing hard to get for so long. We know you're interested in the folks that have gone missing. We are, too. Been looking into it for a spell now. And what, pray tell, is that, darling? We found correspondence from our suspects claiming they were acquiring people from Blue Ridge. It seems to me that your company has been transporting people in a different way than you've advertised. And involuntarily at that. We've always been upfront and honest with this venture. The roots are dangerous, and our Brahmin sure as hell don't smell like roses. Everyone who works with us gets the straight truth. And I certainly don't take too kindly to what you're implying. I could stand here and deny your allegations every which way to Sunday. But I know you won't just take my word for it. So if you've got some hard evidence to prove my people were involved in this little scheme, show it. Otherwise, this letter of yours sounds more like we're the target, not co-conspirators. Plain and simple, I wanted to handle this internally. I didn't want news of this stirring up a panic, maybe causing the perpetrators to flee. Our clients paid us for safe transport, and we failed them. It was our responsibility to solve it discreetly. I'm sure you can appreciate that. As for deceiving Mr. Knapp, well, I dislike fibbing. But sometimes you've got to play your cards close to your chest, especially when lives are at stake. And I don't buy it. Sounds more like you were trying to prevent future clients from being scared off. It makes me wonder if this sudden cooperation isn't in the interest of helping others. Maybe you've just been caught. I'd be offended by these accusations if it didn't weave such a fascinating story. Are you planning to sell that as a dime novel? Well, if you're wondering why my organization would choose to dodge your calls, examine the attitude with which you've started this conversation. This pseudo-authority you're flaunting is exactly the type of oppression and regulation that my free enterprise can do without. All right. That's fine by me. Right now, the most important thing is finding everyone that has gone missing and returning them home. 
being upfront with your involvement in this now will be looked upon favorably, because we're not stopping until this is solved and they are safe. Slow down, Paladin. This is not an admission of guilt or an attempt to weasel out of responsibility. We are just as concerned about these folk as you. We're willing to cooperate in hopes of saving lives, nothing else. And if you're hoping I'm about to spill the beans on some secret abduction scheme, you're out of luck. We have the same goals as you in this. Honeyed words, but we should proceed. What can you tell us about the people that went missing from your caravan? Better to just let you take a look for yourselves. Ares! Come on in here! This guy looks like some kind of guard. Probably armed. Don't take your eye off him, Initiate. Despite Miss Mayfield's silver tongue, I'm not entirely convinced. Let's not start a shootout, but just stay cautious. You ring, boss? Harper's Ferry, the train tunnel. Mind showing our guests the route? Oh, crap. You really want to go back there? That was exactly my thinking, Ares. Head on over to that tunnel and show this duo of detectives the scene of the crime. Does that sound amenable to y'all? The train tunnel itself isn't so important, but underneath is a top-secret gas pipeline running all the way out of the region. It's a pretty discreet route. Safe, too, comparatively. Except, uh, <clears throat> the most recent trip. Well, the last known whereabouts of one of our caravans. They set up camp there, but come morning, the entire place was abandoned. It was a big group, maybe around 15, including our own guard. You've lost that many people? And we're only just now hearing about this. <sighs> That's on me. I chose to keep this off the books. Maybe a bad call, but let's save examine in hindsight for when we've gotten to the bottom of this. Okie dokie, I'll meet you there. It's the big fancy train tunnel just east of Harper's Ferry. Now, time is money. And I've burned a bottle and plant worth of caps chatting with you two. So if you don't mind, please direct any further inquiries to my masked associate. Fine. But after reviewing the evidence, I plan to revisit Blue Ridge's involvement in this matter. By all means. If you find something that gets us answers, we can talk till the Brahmin come home.
Initiate. Glad you made it here safely. That Ares character is further ahead. I should mention, every instinct I have is telling me not to trust him. It seems we don't have much choice for the time being, but we'd be wise to keep an eye on him. All right, you take point. Guns at the ready. I spotted some feral ghouls earlier. further in the facility. There's a trick to getting in. Give me one shake of a lamb squatch's tail to get it open. <laughs> Let's see, 30 days past September, carry the two. Is this for real? And Fiora is just a little further ahead. Please, after you. Fine. I don't think we aren't keeping an eye on you. I can't blame you. I know I'm a real looker. this follow me yep just like I thought let's chat welcome to the ninth circle of hell First, the good news. It's bring your own paramilitary night, so the paladin drinks for free. Well, I hope you've gotten your tetanus shot. No telling where my face has been. But listen up first. Here's the quick version. Clever little me locks that door by setting off a bogus gas leak alarm. But it looks like in order to lift the lockdown, you need to verify there's actually no gas leak. The door is real picky like that. We ferried a lot of people through these tunnels. Didn't want any of our former clients trying to use it. Not for business reasons or anything. We just didn't want anyone else going missing down here. I'm trying to get you to drop the bad cop act and listen for starters. If you'll cast your steely gaze to the left, you'll see a massive, impenetrable wall of strangler vines. To verify there's no gas leak, we need to get to the pump room. One guess where the pump room is located. Yeah, that's the tricky part. There were some engineers living down here well after the bombs fell. 
Looks like they lasted a few years, even. Which means they had a way of fighting back the vines. Maybe start by looking for how they did that? I don't know. They're all over this region, though. Hard as hell to cut, and they grow like they hold a grudge. Uh, in a past life, I used to work with these pencil-pushing sociopaths in suits. Well, not at this facility, but I was in the know about their various nefarious dealings in the region. I snooped around a bit when I first recommended the route to Joanna. There are some offices that were clearly being used as bunks for a while. Not sure what happened to them. It almost looks like they just dropped dead on the spot. <laughs> That's not a bad omen, is it? Mm-hmm. We'll just skulk here in the corner in case another way of opening this door comes to mind. Let me know if you have any luck. Try not to die a terrible death. This sounds like a very contrived way of getting us killed. Stay sharp, Initiate. together lab. Do you suppose they were making something to deal with the vines? I think I see some kind of chemical on the ground there. We need to find a way to unlock this door. From the sound of it, we wrote the numbering system down so they wouldn't need to remember it. Sesame seed, eh? I've always been more of an everything bagel person. Now we just need a way to change that phrase into a series of numbers.
initiate. That was some impressive detective. Let's have a look at this. Aha! My hunch was right. According to the label, they made an extremely potent herbicide. Judging from this container, it looks like it's meant to be dispersed into a larger system. No sprinklers in here, so... Lord. The facility's water line? I would explain the bodies out there, but... Why? They must have known this would happen. No time to dwell on that. Initiate, let's look for a station where we can access the water line. This is what we need to eat in the vines. Let's talk next steps. I should be able to expect alarms. Okay, let's take a look here. Okay. The chemical has started dispersing into the water systems. Damn. It's detected a foreign substance. Prepare for it to get noisy in here. Initiate, I'll need you to keep them off my back. Ad Victorium. drainage system if we're going to affect the vines. is pumping throughout the entire water system now. Including a cesspipe that was for disposing of unwanted chemicals. Well, one sleazy company's environmental negligence is our gain, I suppose. Those vines should be weak enough to break through now. I, uh, wouldn't drink the water if I were you, though.
hostile robotic entity? That's troubling. Be on the lookout. And that's that. Time to head back to Ares. If he has anything to do with all this. We do not, if after all. All right, let's see here. Login credentials, check. In terms of employments, yeah, yeah. Benefits enrollments expired, sure, sure. And done. Trust me now, I'll even lead the way, so if you change your mind, it'll be easier to shoot me in the back. Like you've been pretty thorough. Excellent. I'll take what you've collected. Let me take a look at what you've found. I just need a minute to review it all. Pull out your decoder rings, kids. It's detective time. I know this name. I think I've seen enough. Initiate, we should discuss our findings. Well, I... I'd like to be on the same. Yes. I would. Not quite. They were bunked down here. Indeed. That was my take as well, based on Cassie's just the total number of people they've abducted. Right. What? No, Shin isn't even listed here. What are you... Listen. I... Not only were they present on multiple... Likely these Hellcat mercenaries you... I knew the name sounded familiar. Think back, Initiate. No. Dr. Black, I had thought it. Indeed, we. Dr. Black, it would appear that an unfortunate. You may not have it. When this is over, I do believe. 
Fair enough. It's something. And hopefully, anyway, if we can deter- I'll meet you there. Aries? I owe you an apology. My rash behavior was unfitting of my position, and frankly, unfair to you. Eh, water under the bridge. All of my best friendships start with misplaced suspicion of mass kidnapping. I...